Yeah, you already know what it is, bro. It's your boy Don Trash, Big Boom, and you now rocking with Two Blunt TV. Booming! Yeah. All right, so Don, Don Trash. What does yeah. that mean? Don Trash. So Don Trash is, it means King Trash. So Trash is an acronym, and it goes by, T, it's, T, it's spelled T-R-A-G, and it means the realest and greatest. The realest and greatest. Where you from? I'm from Stowin. Stowin, Massachusetts. Stowin. Tell me something about Stowin. Yo, we get it poppin'. Poppin'. No cap. Nigga, whatever it is. Niggas, hold up. My fault. I didn't mean to cut you off, but niggas think it's like a, a suburb, but nah, Stowin, we get it rockin' out there. No cap. Three things I didn't know. I don't know much about Stowin. Just tell me, like, three things somebody wouldn't know about Stowin. Nigga, we got the best rappers in Massachusetts in Stowin. We got the best weed in Stoughton, and the cops is fucking crazy in Stoughton. They'll arrest you for no, anything, no cap. Ask anybody that's in Dedham right now, they'll tell you they got arrested in Stoughton. <laughs> I'm not even capping. So, um, tell me about you, about what you did before music. Um, I see he grabbed the CD, um, right here. This is my album right here. This is my debut album. It's called Big Boom. So I got Big Boom 2 out. So this would be Big Boom 1. This, so this is Big Boom. It got 16 tracks. Um, it's, I made it with me and my friends, all my friends growing up from my neighborhood and shit, all from Stoughton. And I made a complete project and I, and I just I put it into a CD. This this little NFT, this little this little image is supposed to, it, you know what I mean? It's a replication of me. Know what I mean? It, you know what I mean? I know I got the blonde hair now, but know what I mean? This is me. All right, yo, um, we, let's continue this interview after I perform. Let's get it. All right, boom, man. So you just hopped off the stage. Yeah, you already know. Turned that motherfucker so, up. So Tell me, how was your, your experience of performance? That shit was lit. That shit was lit. You performed before? You said what? You performed other places before? I can't hear you. That. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, how, where, where did you perform? Uh, I performed multiple places. I performed in like places like Magic City in Atlanta. I performed in Central. I performed at the Middle East. I performed everywhere. All right, so. What would you say influenced you to do music? No cap, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne? I heard, I heard Lil Wayne on that auto tune, and I was like, yo, that shit is crazy. How the fuck he do it? I want to do that. Yeah, Lil Wayne. Yeah. Hold on, wait, wait. Stay from again. I'm from Stoughton. Stoughton? Nah. Yeah. How did you all meet up? Yo, so we all grew up with each other. I mean, these are my brothers forever, for life. So I go by the name of Don Trash. He goes by the name of Jay something. Jay something. He goes by the name of Nice Side. Yes, sir. Nice Side, you already know. And we're all we're all from Stone. We're all so rappers from Stone. Are y'all like all in one group? Nah, we all are. We all got our own LLCs. We all got our own groups. We turning up together, though. Jason, tell me something about yourself. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Jay something. Like you said, I'm an artist. I'm from Stoughton. I've been doing my thing for a little while. I got a few, I think I got three projects out on all streaming platforms. I got like 12 videos. You know, I've been doing my thing for a little while. I've done, I've done mad shows, too. We just turned this one up. I probably did like 12, 15 shows already myself. So I know I asked him earlier, but what? Tell me something about Stoughton that I don't know. Um, Stoughton, there's a lot of money out there, dog. I'll tell you that much. There's a lot of fucking fiends. Uh, a lot, a lot of shit happen niggas don't know about, like violent shit. You feel me? Times like that, they don't really want to promote it. You feel me? They try and keep that little peaceful image, but nigga, we done turned that shit up, bro. You know, it's, it's lit out there. The cops on our dick. So what do you used to do before music? Trap, bro. Trap. Try it, bro. You feel me? That's a, that's that's the whole part of our music. Why it's so authentic? Cause niggas know how we was operating in the streets and shit. You feel me? Really made our mark. Like it wasn't all small time little boats. Like niggas know us. You feel me? What about you? Tell me something about. Tell me something about your music. Well, yeah, I try to mainly focus on like trap melody and shit. You know, capitalize on that part. 
But uh, yeah, that's most part about it. Yeah, trap melody, a little rap in it. So what would you? How was Stolen to you before music? What? Was Stolen you before music? Right? Yeah. Like, tell me something about Stolen. Like, how was Stolen for you before music? For music? Before music. Before music, it was like, nigga, we brought the we brought the juice. We was the niggas that really. I mean, I've been there for a grip, so. You know, everything that we turned up and everything you all see on the platform that we bringing, that's that's basically, we, we brought that shit to the industry, you know what I mean? But it's a lot of hidden gems up in there that I think Boston's gonna see soon, so you're, you're gonna soon discover how much we got, how much talent and shit. Uh, any projects coming from you? Yeah, definitely. I got like a few unreleased tracks. I just dropped Fall, a music video hit 10K views, check that shit out. But I'm definitely looking POV. Definitely a good project. My nigga just brought that shit up to my attention. But I got a lot of shit I'm coming to for y'all. But um, check that shit out for right now. Definitely. Word, word. What's your What's your plans for the the rest of 2021? Uh yeah. So um, I just I just started my LLC this year and shit. And I mean, I, I plan on growing. I plan on grow, getting big, getting on all type of get all type of sponsors. Getting all type of brand deals and just going big and getting on all these type of shows. Cause, you know what I mean? I got the talent. We got the talent. Stoughton's lit. You know what I mean? We really doing shit out here. We really turning up. We really showing. We really, we really making the music that these people really want to listen to. And we really showing people like, yo, this is how you do it. You know what I mean? I'm guerrilla marketing. A thousand CDs. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, who does that anymore? People want to do the... Apple Music, I'm on Apple Music too. Spotify, I'm on that too. Know what I mean? SoundCloud, I'm on that too. YouTube, on that too. It's just, I wanna do, what I wanna do is I wanna do shit until, I wanna do shit so people, whatever people ask me like, oh, yo, man, you should've done this. Guess what, I did that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's what I wanna do. That's why I wanna keep on working. That's why I wanna get to. What about you, you know, 2021? Got a project coming by the end of the year. I want to drop a few videos with that. Uh, I got my clothing line too, Love Hate. I've been going crazy with that. You know, fall, winter time, sweatsuits, nigga, about to go dumb. You feel me? So I'm focusing a lot on a few designs I got coming. Like I said, that new project, getting that wrapped up, get a few videos out. Just keep, just keep doing what I've been doing, you know? Gotta right, make this right. shit pop. Um, end it off with you. End of 2021. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got a lot of shit. I'm trying to bring a lot of content to the floor. Like I just told you, my projects I'm dropping, but make sure I'm trying to bring a different aspect to Boston, like an influencer. You know, I think we lacking those shit, so that's my part I'm gonna bring for the rest of 2021. You're gonna see a lot of influence, a lot of content, a lot of shit coming to y'all. So see what we got cooking up. Y'all niggas gonna be interested, for real. Word, word. Good looking up for um, Rockin' with Tubal.